Hi everybody, this is Tobias Belter and it's around about 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, it is Friday the 13th of January and that means this morning a story went live published by The Guardian saying that there is a backdoor slash vulnerability in the WhatsApp messaging platform that would allow hackers or um, more so governments to snoop on sensitive data and intercept communication even um, even though Facebook claims that they use end-to-end -end encryption in WhatsApp. So let's look into this vulnerability as um, I think it, it's a little bit difficult to understand maybe for uh, some people so I thought I would make this quick video to like demo it and give you a um, good understanding of how it works and how it can be exploited by hackers or the government so here I have prepared three phones for you here we have Edward Edward is a whistleblower and wants to communicate very securely with Laura. Laura is a journalist and wants to communicate with Edward, of course. Here in the middle is the government, which is represented as this third phone. Of course, in the real world, it's not going to be a phone. It's going to be something different. But in this demo, it's just going to be this phone. You'll later see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and let's have Edward sent a message to Laura to introduce himself. Hi, this is Ed. So Laura just got a message from Edward saying, hi, this is Ed. So because Laura is very cautious about her security and Edward also is, they are going to make two things. First of all, they will activate a very specific security setting inside WhatsApp that basically says, hi WhatsApp, I'm a high risk user. I might be targeted by enemies as strong as the government please give me the strongest protection available please display all error messages all warnings i know what i'm doing so let's go ahead and activate this settings the setting so here you can find it under settings account security and then you have to activate show security notification We will make sure the same is activated on this phone as well, on Edward's phone, so to say. And here it is, show security notifications. All right. So now because these two are extremely cautious and they know that the government and WhatsApp might want to intercept their messages. They are going to meet in person and verify that their key exchange has happened correctly. Otherwise, WhatsApp could have just compromised this key exchange and game over. So what they're going to do is they're gonna click on the contact and click on encryption right here, also on this phone. And then here is the conversations security code. And we can either compare the numbers or we can do a scan code and verify this way. Oops. That the key exchange has been done securely. All right. Now, Edward can send very sensitive stuff to Laura, because it's secure, right? So, 
he will go ahead and say something like I got news and now the government comes in the government blocks the communication to Laura in the real world they don't really need to block the notification the communication they just need to prevent the whatsapp server from sending the notification that the recipient has received the message because as you know like you have these two ticks in whatsapp so they are basically pretending from the second tick to occur I, i'm just going to simulate this by putting this phone into flight mode now edward is giving away all his private information like that and as we see here is only the the first thing not the second thing so this message is now sent to this phone right so in, in principle nobody should be able to receive this specific message but i will show now how the message can indeed be received by this third phone from the government therefore i have to simulate um that the whatsapp server is giving is proposing a new key to laura and how am i going to do this I am basically just going to swap the SIM card from this phone to this phone and re-register with the WhatsApp server. So let's go ahead and do this. Power off this phone. Take out the battery of... Take out the juice from the government. <laughs> just for a second. Then get the power back. I'm sure. So this SIM card goes here. Let's wait until this boots up. This would take a while. By the way, this is going to be the phone number um, of Laura. It's it's gonna. I, I guess I'll have to expose it to the public in this video anyway. So you might as well also use it to. Uh, send me messages and tell me what you think about all this stuff Should the government be able to spy on us? Should they be able to target whistleblowers communication? What do you think? Anyways, so here we go. I open whatsapp Oop. I'm sorry. I uh, first have to like erase Oops. The data Oh yeah, WhatsApp is already complaining about this. So I'm going ahead and erase all the data. I guess it's somewhere here. Settings. It's not the fastest phone. Apps. Get that. What's up? Clear data. And we will also make sure that there's no data at all remaining on this phone. So we go to the file manager. 
and also delete this WhatsApp folder here. So th this phone has like no information stored on, this, on it, no keys, nothing whatsoever. Let's open WhatsApp for basically the first time here. Decolman this thing, all of this. <coughs> And we register this phone number, United States 510-833-4132, go. So it's connecting to the WhatsApp server, telling that, hey, here's a new phone. And this will trigger sending a new public key to Edward. Oh, I guess I can't do the registration by SMS because I have registered before. Um, but no worries, I can just do call me. Because I, I I needed to try this experiment uh, a few times before I like, I uh, got everything sorted out. Um, let's see. the verification codes 968770 no I, I never back up to Google Drive really bad idea oh and what is this I just got a message. The NSA is spying on us from Medward. So I just intercepted this message. Great. Yeah, so this is this is pretty bad. So the, the government shouldn't be able to read this stuff. So what happened is on this phone, right? I sent this message previously. The NSA is spying on us. But the, my client then went ahead and re-encrypted the message with the new key that this phone, just, the government just announced and resent the message without asking me and now it's saying lower security code has changed tap more for info well that, that's not used at all like all my information has just been compromised so yeah so this is this is this is basically how the attack works um well let me know what what you think like should the government be able to spy on us um what do you think about this whole situation in basically seven days when we get a new tr president would you feel more comfortable with our new president to have all these capabilities or maybe less comfortable let me know in the comments below um this is my first YouTube video, so it's, it's all a little bit shaky um, and not easy for me. But I hope that you um, liked the video and that I could shed some light on how the vulnerability works. Um, thank you very much and keep in touch. Bye bye.